The women of Adani, in Uzowani local government area, have taken to the streets to protest the ongoing killings in the community by persons suspected to be armed headsmen. Expressing their grief and frustration, one of the women leaders in Adani narrated their collective ordeal in the hands of the invaders while calling for urgent intervention. <laughs> The latest incident was the killing of two brothers, Obunna Felix and Obunna John, while they were returning from the farm on Sunday, April 7, 2024. The recent spate of violence has left the community in a state of fear and uncertainty while tensions running high. Speaking to Signature Television, Matthew Idu, an indigene of Adani, highlighted the devastating impact of the crisis on the lives of the people of the area. He was uh, sleeping out outside his uh, house, just taking breeze. And... Uh, about that kind, 12, 30, midnight. And some group of people came in and uh, killed him, assassinated. As we were holding the time in our meeting on Sunday, news came in that two young men that went to farm were killed in the farm. It can't be hoodlums. It cannot be hoodlums. Uh, I would still call it the, the, the farmers' headers clash, but there was no clash this time around. The headers do not want these farmers to come to their farms. Why is that? I don't know exactly. Because you that have your farm, for instance, you have a cassava farm, and you see these headers eating up what you have, Planted for, for that you are with, we've planted and waiting to harvest. You see them eating it up. You, do, you don't have any rights before them to ask them not to do that. If you speak to them, you'll be a victim. Situations where headers harvest cassava and split these cassavas for the animals to eat. So if they can't get the leaves, they will go on the tubers. Is that how we're going to survive? Signature Television recalls a similar incident in Abugo last year where a prominent farmer lost all his investment due to these attacks. The most recent experience I had was what I had last year when these guys came into my farm with their cattle in the evening. Late in the evening, we were about to leave the farm then. And we sighted them at the other end of my farm in Abugo. Good enough, I had my workers on ground. We accosted them and we were able to arrest one of their cows. Because one of the challenges we've had in the past is when you uh, complain to the police, they will be looking for, they want you to arrest somebody. If you can't get the Fulani person yourself, get their cattle. And uh, we now kept on looking for how to get, at least get one of their cattle. And we got one of their cattle. And I immediately contacted the needed authorities. I called the local government chairman, then local government chairman of uh, Kano West local government area. I contacted the SSG or SA to the governor on security matters. I also contacted the SSA to the governor on agriculture in Guinea, Obuekwe, and all of them. I contacted the commissioner of agriculture too. You know, having done all of those things, by the end of the whole thing, we were unable to resolve the issue surrounding that uh, particular challenge. Needless to say that they paid lip service our government have paid lip service, not just this government, right from onset, they have paid lip service to the issues of security and insecurity in Nigeria, in Enugu State and in local areas. The Commissioner of Police, Kanayo Izuebu, 
While expressing sadness about the incident, I show the community of adequate support to bring justice to perpetrators of the dastardly act. I came here for solidarity. Yes, I am not really too happy. The police here in the state will never allow this unwarranted killing of people going to inside, family inside their bush just to, for their daily their living. We can never, never tolerate this kind of unwarranted and devilish act. I know Adani is reputed for the highest police of rights. Yes, and that will not deter you from going to far. I came here to assure you of the quick guarantee, not only here but the state generally. Despite assurances from the Commissioner of Police, the situation continues to escalate, leaving residents feeling helpless and vulnerable. The implementation of the anti-open grazing law by the Enugu State Government was intended to address conflicts between herders and farmers. Recent developments such as the one just witnessed at Adani, however, put a big question mark on whether the law is serving the intended purpose. Charles Pyers reporting for Signature Television.